Poultry is not all old dusty barns. I'm Dr. Charlene Hanlon, Assistant Professor of Reproductive Physiology at Auburn University, and I'm here to show you around the Charles C. Miller Jr. Poultry Research Station today. Come with me. So this is the feed mill. This is where everything that the birds eat on the farm is made. This is where all the eggs get stored. We wanna collect them here for a few days so that we can have everything stay at the same embryonic age and all of our chicks will hatch at day 21. This is our incubator room. So you can see that we have four nature forms here. Each of these can hold about 1,080 eggs. So once they come and hatch out of those incubators, we bring them in here. We do different chick quality measurements. We weigh the chicks. We wanna make sure that they are going to be the best quality for what the producer needs to put on the ground. So once we hatch those chicks out of the hatchery, we're going to place them in this barn here. So there's actually a class going on right now. One of their projects will be to come in here and grow their own broilers. So they get to learn what it takes to place chicks, grow them out, and weigh them. These are the controllers that we use for every single house out here. It tells us the temperature, how the fans are running, how much water is being consumed, what the humidity is. And this panel can be accessed from my phone as well. So I can sit on my couch and make sure that the birds are doing exactly what I need them to be doing. If you're interested in joining us here at the Department of Poultry Science at Auburn University, please check out our website to find more information.